Welcome, everybody, to the College Football Best Bet Show on the Grilling Truth Sports Network. I'm your host, Mike Goodpaster. Today, we're going to look at Colorado. Traveling to Colorado State, Colorado was favored by 7.5. Coach Prime's going to try to get it done, try to move above the 500 mark, stop the bleeding, and probably save his job in the long run. The Colorado State Rams are 1-1. One one. They got blown out by Texas in Week 1. Week 2 saw a blowout win over the Northern Colorado for Colorado State. And last year, if you remember in this rivalry game, Colorado State played Colorado tooth and nail all the way to the final gun before finally succumbing. All right, if you're going to bet this game, go to BetMGM. It's the top sports book for betting on college football. Make sure you click on the links in the description down below if you're watching on YouTube. So let's go ahead and let's get this show started. Colorado, Colorado State. It's rivalry time on Saturday night when Colorado, the Buffs, travel to Fort Collins, Colorado to take on the in-state rival Colorado State Rams. The rivalry has taken on added significance of the last year with war of words between the two teams' head coaches. That is what the Colorado coach is best at, talking. So the Buffaloes have had a roller coaster ride since Dion got there. And last Saturday, they were hum- humbled and humiliated by Nebraska 28-10. to The Buffaloes struggled with protection all night and then were never able to sustain a drive until the game was already out of reach. Of course, Shadur Sanders, like the little girl that he is, just like his daddy, couldn't take the heat. You know, they're really good at talking. They're not very good at actions in Colorado. So he bailed with two minutes left. Colorado fell behind 14 to nothing after just one quarter. They were down 28 to nothing at the half. And they didn't score until late into the fourth quarter. And they were never really threatened. Shadur Sanders had a solid game, 23 to 38 for 244 with a touchdown. He also threw an interception. He was sacked five times. That will tell you when you want to go to the transfer portal, Instead of going out and getting a lot of skill position players, maybe you should get some linemen first. Colorado State rebounded from a week one thumbing at the hands of Texas. Texas may be the best team in the country, though. They won their first game of the season 38-17 to over Northern Colorado last Saturday night at home. The Rams jumped out to a 10-0 lead and rolled to a somewhat sloppy victory. The Rams were led by their ground game on Saturday night, and all they rushed for 246 yards on 40 carries. Keegan Hollies led the way with 89 yards on 10 carries and a touchdown. Justin Marshall finished with 67 yards on 10 carries, while the quarterback, Brandon Fuller Nicolosi, scored on a two-yard run. Now, who wins this game? Now, there's no doubt, guys, Colorado has the more talented team. But we've also seen Dion, whether it was in the HBCU, losing to Alabama and A&M, or losing to FCS North Dakota State at the start of this season. Even if he has a talent advantage, the other team's going to have a coaching advantage, and that's going to be the case here. Now, could they cover seven and a half points? Because hey, Colorado could win this game, but it's at Colorado State and Fort Collins. It's going to be a raucous crowd. The Rams battled Colorado down the wire last season and nearly pulled off the huge upset on the road. In this game, they'll have the advantage of facing a Colorado team that is struggling to protect a quarterback, just like last year. In addition, the Buffaloes have been able to, unable to run the football, so the Rams will be able to bring pressure on Sanders. Expect a lot of blitz packages from the Rams, guys, and they're going to be able to bring pressure. They're going to blitz them all day. They're going to force the offensive line to adjust. The Buffaloes haven't shown any commitment to the run this season, so unless they change their strategy, the pressure will be there on that struggling offensive line to deliver and pass coverage. On the other side of the ball, the Rams quarterback, Nicolosi, Passed for nearly 400 yards against the Buffaloes last season because there was no pressure on him. And he should have time to throw again, given that the Buffaloes are ranked 108th in sacks per game this season. I expect this game to be tight. Colorado does have better players. Sanders is an elite quarterback. Travis Hunter's a stud. But Colorado looks like a team that might need a bye week to make the kind of adjustments they need to take advantage of their skills. The problem with that is the only reason that bye week would help would be if they wanted to fire their head coach because Deion Sanders has been an utter failure in Boulder, Colorado, and that's not going to change. They're going to lose a lot of games this year. I think you cap the most wins Deion gets out of this team is four at the most. Colorado basically has turned into a sideshow circus with all kinds of distractions. Colorado State's going to be at home. They can run the ball. They're going to get after the passer. I think there's a really good shot here Colorado State wins. I'm not going to go that far, but I am going to stay. The best bet for this game is to take Colorado State plus the seven and a half points, and I would hit this hard, guys. 
I think Colorado State will be in this game to the end, and seven and a half points is way too much for Colorado to have against almost anybody right now. All right, if you want to bet this game, go to BetMGM. It's a top sports book for betting on college football, especially this Colorado versus Colorado State game. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell notification on YouTube. Make sure you go to Twitter, or X as they call it now. Follow us at Grueling Truth. Make sure you follow and find us on Facebook. Follow us there also. But for now, guys, I'm Mike Goodpastor. You've been watching and listening to The Grueling Truth, where the legends be.